In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make an extremely realistic Roblox game in under 10 minutes, just like this one. So let's go and let's show you exactly how you can do it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a different sky. So we head to the toolbox here and we're going to search for sky. Luckily, there's hundreds of sky available for free. So you can scroll down and we're going to find a sky which we find acceptable. I'm going to keep on looking until I find a nice one. Okay, I think this one here looks really nice. We can click on this. And there we go, we have a really nice looking sky. Now, we want to go to the properties down here. Make sure we have celestial bodies shown set to true. Now, as you can see, the sky, another sun will spawn up here. You want to go to the celestial body dragger plugin. Go to drag sun. And you want to drag this sun all the way over and place it in the same place as this sun. Now, this sun doesn't look very nice. So down here, where it says sun texture ID, we're going to replace this with the ID, which I've shown here. We're going to press enter, and it will change the sun here to a better looking sun. We want to have this covered up just like we want to head over to our actual lighting tab here. We click on this, and we have all these options to go through. So what we want to do is we want to change the color shift bottom here. We want to change that to some kind of blue color. So I'm going to do for this blue. And the top here, you want to change it to an orange, just like this. These things here, you want to make these set to 1, both, and make sure this and this are both set to black. You can change this to future if you want to, although it does compromise the effect of the grass. Now, after this, we want to add our next thing, which is the sun rays effect. I'm going to click add to that, and as you can see, you get the sun rays. I like to dial down the intensity a little bit, because too much makes it a bit, I don't know, a bit difficult to see. Then we want to add the atmosphere effect. Now the atmosphere effect is very interesting because you can do loads of different effects with this. Now I like to increase the density a little bit, not by too much. And where it says glare and haze here, you want to increase the haze. Now this is something like that. And then the glare, you want to increase this as well. Now these colors here, you would want to change, obviously. I like to change it to a sort of gray color for both of these because that's what produces the sort of the best looking. Make sure this sun here, we can drag this down, make it look a bit more real. There we go. That sort of effect there. That looks really nice. Now, with our lighting done, which is our lighting, we can now move over to our terrain and our trees. So the best way to work with that, see where we have these objects here in the lighting. You want to select all of these objects and drag them into the replicator first, because then it will allow us to get this you know, better looking area so we can work with terrain. Now, to access terrain, you want to go to home and click on the terrain editor, it will come down and come out wherever you have it. So I have my terrain editor down here. We can press edit and we're going to go for um, draw because draw creates and generates terrain. You want to turn on plane lock as well and you can make the size whatever you like. I want to make it quite large. Now I want to keep it at six actually. And then we can use this and click and it generates the terrain. As you can see, we get this good looking terrain. I'm going to go like this, and then to create hills and mountains on the side, which like we did before, you just want to follow along like this, and generate accordingly, this, just like we did before. Then go to the smooth tool, um, I'll keep the strength kind of medium, and then use this, and smooth this out completely, like that. And then I would use the sculpture tool, and make it quite large, and I would just add a bit of texture into this, rather than just having a default, there we go. And that there is our grassy terrain. If you want to make sure that the wind here is different, you want to go to view and you want to head over to the wind direction object here. And as you can see, we can change the speed of the wind. We can change the direction of the wind and we can change the angle of the wind. I want to keep it like this. I think that's quite nice. There's our wind. Now to make this side bit nicer, because this doesn't look very, it looks kind of ugly, and go to paint and go to the cobblestone tab, I like the cobblestone, turn off the plane lock, and you can go over all of these different things, and make it look a bit more real, so I'm gonna do that now, I'll be back. Okay, so there we go, you know, different people have different opinions, I think that looks better, so keep that like that. And then we're going to add our trees in. Now to add trees, what I've done, you can go to the toolbox, and you can look for a um, certain tree pack. I've put the link down below. You can head to your models here and you can find it. So let me get that and import it. Here it is, here's the object. I'll put the link for this down below. You just press insert, press okay. And here we have a huge tree pack, which is very nice and very useful. I'm gonna get rid of all these green ones because let me just ungroup this, use 
control U. I want to get rid of all these green ones because I want to get the orange look. So if I get rid of these. Okay, there we go. I've deleted enough trees, so now I have these two, which I think look the best. I can then go to plugins and use the brush tool plugin here. And that will appear here for me. And in this plugin, you can delete these preset ones. And you want to select your two things and then press add and add. I would put the radius um, pretty large, spacing at the full, and keep the settings. So change these to random and all this sort of stuff and make sure that the orientation here is up. And press activate brush. And we can scroll over our world just like this. And as you can see, it will generate the trees. And then deactivate the brush here. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of these ones in the middle here and the default ones just like this. So that's a bit nicer. A bit a trick you can do, you select all our trees, go to move and then drag them down to stop them leaving gaps beneath. And there's our trees. Now this here, as you see some of there's some mistakes, so make sure you rectify them. Um, a little trick that I like to do, if you have the plugin, I recommend using it, is the wind shape plugin. You just press import scripts here. I have a video on that. The link will be shown now. We can then search in our workspace here for foliage, which is the name of the leaves on the tree. And we just want to click on each of these, select them all, and then turn wind shape to on. That means it will look a bit better with the wind. And then finally, what we can do is we can close this workspace here, go back to our replicator first with our objects and drag them into lighting. And here we go. That is our extremely realistic game inside of Roblox Studio. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.